Hello everyone, ebomb113 here with a Mega Constructs review. This is the Halo Infinite Building Box set. Um, I purchased on Amazon for $30, uh, US anyway. So I just want to do a quick little review just because this set impressed me more than I thought it would. Um, typically I don't do reviews unless something really sticks out to me or it's a set I really like. So I um, decided to give this one a shot. Um, got on Amazon the other day. And for thirty dollars, I think it's a pretty good, um, pretty good deal. You get quite a few, uh, good uh, amount of uh, bricks. Um, you got a lot of accessories. Um, take you, show you a quick view of the uh, structure manual here. So, start out with the manual. Shows you how to build the pelican, and um, shows you how to build the figures as well. Um, didn't build the pelican. I just didn't think it looked that interesting to build in the first place. But uh, you get a chance to build the mongoose. And it shows you one alternative build you can uh, make. Looks like a little gun platform, some sandbags, some supplies. I built that one, I just I didn't care for it. So I'll go through all that. As we get to the end here, um, you can, I guess, download instructions for this alternate build, which I built as well, and I just didn't care for it either. So this is a custom version of what I built with the set. Um, I didn't use any alternative pieces. I used everything that was in the set to build this little um, it's kind of com combination of gun platform, missile launcher, garage. It's got a little bit of everything in one. So um, I'll show you around the base. So it comes with this nice printed plasma shield. Uh, you can make the mongoose. Uh, it's made some like crates for like a forklift to be able to pick up. And there's all the extra parts. Um, actually this part is like a clip for the box. Um, the top folds over. I already uh, threw away the box. But I thought this was a nifty little piece. Um, it's kind of built into the cardboard and then the top, or like one of the top flaps of the box um, clip around it. So I thought that was a pretty cool nifty idea. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it but I wanted to save the plastic, but I have a good chunk of pieces left over, even after building this hunk of thing. So I'm going to show you everything. I already showed you the plasma shield. Showed you these. I just made like a little crate of, um, I guess like fuel canisters, or maybe they're replacement parts or something. But uh, put some bricks on there and make it look like it could be picked up like a forklift. Um, have some sandbags. Uh, made like a little pallet with it as well, just so it can be moved around. Mongoose, um, it's okay. It looks a little toyish like the older designs, but uh, I think it still looks pretty neat. Um, Spartan Goon, Goon Gear, I think it's pronounced. Um, it's a really good, really good figure. Um, I can't really say any more than I really do love it. Um, comes with, I think it's called a Brute Shock Rifle as of this moment in time. Not too sure, but that's the mongoose. Rolls back and forth. Put that off the side. And this is what I built. Kind of went off um, the second build more for this one. I kind of like the overhang bit here. Um, got some places to put guns. Actually comes with quite a few guns, too. So I was pretty impressed by that. Get out of the lighting. Um, got some shelving in case you want to put parts for a mongoose or something on them. Um, had to get creative with holding the rocket launcher and the sword. So like I said, I didn't use any extra pieces. I used only what came in the set just to kind of challenge myself. So I had to get creative with how to holster or, um, how to rack, um, some alternative weapons that don't have, you know, just like little, uh, places, bars for figures to hold on to. But it comes with the new shotgun, the reach tactical shotgun, Comes with that new pistol you can see over there. Um, old fashioned rocket launcher, old fashioned sword, an assault rifle, and a battle rifle. Um, so, nice little garage area. So, I'm gonna grab the um, mongoose. So, you can pull them up in through there, work on it, and then go on out. So, I thought that was a pretty little neat concept. Like I said, this over arc, or this arch, whatever you want to call it, I got from the second build. I thought that was a pretty nifty idea. I have a staircase, 
Um, it's all brick build up through in there just to give it more support. I had plenty of pieces, so I was able to do it. Might look a little blocky, but I think it looks pretty decent. Get a fusion coil, a crate, some cones in there. I have um, some grenades and the flash muzzle pieces. I figure if the weapons were being stored, they wouldn't need the flash muzzle. Or the whatever it's called. Muzzle flash uh, pieces. Just put those in the crate for the time being. I made like a little computer system, kind of works in tandem with uh, the rocket launcher I made up top, and maybe like a sensor relay you could add later. Um, so it's kind of like a little mini base. Um, work on a you know, mongoose in the bay, got a rocket launcher for heavier turrets, or for heavier targets. Then uh, you got a machine gunner spot up top, which unfortunately doesn't come with um, any ammunition. It's just the. Um, just the machine gun. So if you have those um, ammo belts, you can probably put it in there. Um, comes with a blue EVA Spartan, which I love EVA, so I'm a little biased probably towards this figure. I love both figures. I think it's they're both really good, uh, just collectibles in general. Up top, I was going to put like a sonar dish, but I couldn't get it to look right with the pieces I had left. So I just kind of left it open. Um, just kind of gave it a roof. I uh, might go at, go in later and add like a spotlight or something, add lights to it. Um, rocket launcher that I made. can swivel both ways, go up and down. So that was my own, uh, most of it's, you know, my own doing. Just kind of playing around with what the p parts were available. I think that pretty much does it. I really like these, um, these computer piece parts. Like those would be good for... You know, if you want to do like a command center or add to a ship or yeah, just whatever your imagination could use. Has a nice UNSC logo at the top. Uh, looks like it's just a nice, decent console. I think that pretty much does it. Like I said, you got quite a few spare parts, even if you build something like this. Um, took some heavy inspiration from one of the builds. I didn't care for the stock builds it came with. But um, I think it turned out pretty good. I'd definitely recommend it. You can pick it up on Amazon. I'd say $30 is a, definitely a good deal. Maybe parts to pieces ratio. I'll probably have to do the math on that one. But for the most part, I really like it. I'm really satisfied with it. If I get some extra cash, I might get a second one. Just because I like this so much. Maybe it could expand upon this one. And uh, yeah, I'd say give it a try. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.